You better ready to get started? Let's do this. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. Let's do it. I need more space on my computer, on my desk for stuff. Like so. snacks? No, not snack. Yes, I need a toothpick because we have we have cheese balls at the house, and, but I'd have no toothpicks. I asked mom, and she said we have no toothpicks. I'm like, how can we have cheese balls and no toothpicks? Exactly. And anyway, so anyway, okay, so we're we're good to go. Um. So yeah, I I don't even I don't even have an answer for your geek question. I'm gonna have to just wing it. Okay, but dad, let's be honest. You never have have an answer. Sometimes, last week was pretty good. Last week was pretty good. 95% of the time, you don't have an answer. Okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Okay, all right. I can't... I can't move. I got too much stuff in the way. I can't move. Can't move. And I got she's got. poking out. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, it's squinchy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great way to start the show. <laughs> oh, uh, we I need to cosplay Fat Bastard one day. <laughs> there, that would be a good one for you. Um, okay. But, um, but, uh, but then who would you be? I'd be Scott. First off, you are not young enough to pull off Scott. I'm younger looking than you. Especially if I shave. <laughs> No, no, you are not younger looking than me. Get rid, get rid, get rid of my skunk beard. Yeah. So. No, you're 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 gonna be Austin Powers and you're gonna like it. Okay. So you ready to get started? Dad, I've been ready. Okay, I'm I've trying been to. Ready. I've been ready. I'm ready. Jazzed. I'm ready. Oh, I'm okay. ready to get to get down with this jigga that you have. Okay. Well, let's stop this music and start our music, and then we'll get started. All right. Let's start a real job, baby. Oh, so okay, so okay now. You let me know when you're ready for me to start. <laughs> and there we are. We actually got a clean start this time. Dance, monkey. Oh, that's actually a very good way to describe us. You're the production monkey. The, I'm You're the, the dance monkey. monkey. That dances. There you go. There you go. Exactly. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to episode 82 of the Gene Pool Variety Hour. Uh, I'm Sean. I'm the old guy of the group. I'm dad of this bunch. And the guy on the other screen in the big uh, hat is... Uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, Borderlands hat. I was drawing a blank. Borderlands hat. So, what, who's the guy on the other screen? Greetings, weary travelers. I am known as the Quillermeister, and I shall wind you a tale of physics, of road trips, and of random chickens. Come <laughs> and sit with a pint of ale, or a hobbit-sized pint of you be halfling. Okay, that would be my son. Uh, he's the talent on the show. I just run the buttons. So anyway, I don't know where that came from, but okay, that was awesome. I wanted I wanted to to, to do well, something then. a little bit different. Um, <laughs> I've I've I'm wanting to to stretch out my vocal muscles. Right, you know. Yeah. No, I'm. That I'm, was actually. That was actually not too bad. I was I was pleasantly surprised. And you know, when you do a voice, it comes out nice and clean and smooth. It was great. Yeah. Thank so. You. Anyway, oh, uh, hold on. Uh, why do not our clock? Here, gotta put our timer up. Uh huh. Okay, there you go. So, and that 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 crunching sound you hear is Connor eating cheese balls with a toothpick, which is the, actually the correct way to eat cheese balls. It because is. You don't get, I know. It is. I know. So anyway, so yeah, so Nick's, cheese balls. Um, um, when um, whenever Nick sees he's been eating them like this, they freaking blow a gasket because it makes no sense to him. And I'm like, it is satisfying to pierce one and put it in your mouth. Plus, you don't get dirty. Right. You don't get orange stuff all over your fingers. Right. Yeah, I agree. 
which is what I'll be doing when this podcast is over tonight and going downstairs and watching the football game, I'll be doing the same thing. You'll be that thing will be sitting on the couch next to me while I'm watching the football game. So, um, hey guys, Just use a fork. <laughs> hey, uh, maybe we haven't even started yet. And we already kind of started chasing chickens. So, anyway. So uh, snacky chicken. We got and stuff got, to talk got about. Feet out. We got nerd stuff to talk about. We got movies and geek questions and all that kind of stuff. Um, I, I I don't know that I have a lot of nerd stuff to talk about. I don't have a lot going on. But um, but anyway. Oh, I I, I will say. Um, well, um, is there anything you want to talk about first? Well, let's start with you. So we'll start with you tonight, again, like we always do. Let's so. see. Did anything interesting? Um, I've been maining my um my my pure mage character in in Skyrim a, a lot lately. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Um, um, I've um I, I've actually gotten into full mastery of both alteration and um and destruction magic, and um and I'm only twenty skill levels away from for, for, from getting conjuration. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Um, man, Kali, don't uh, I would. I, I'm what? choosing not to play Skyrim again. I mean, I love that game. I mean, I've gone in and I can't. It's I, been your baby. It is my baby. It's Absolutely. been your comfort game since it came out on the 360 over a decade ago. I know. I know. Um, and so, but I've played it so many times in so many different characters and done so many things with it. So I'm 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 not playing it because I'm going to hold out for uh, um, Starfield. Starfield, Starfield. Is that what it's called? The new. I don't know, Dad. That's more your thing. Anyway, it's basically Skyrim in space with multiple Skyrims in space because it's multiple planets and you can build your own spaceships and stuff. So that just kind of sounds cool. So yeah. I'm I'm holding out for that one. Um, and you know, I, because I pretty much only play on Friday nights, I pretty much have, I just pick the one game that I play with my buddy. I play destiny because I don't really have time to play other things except on Saturday mornings when you and I stream and do Mm -hmm. stuff. So, uh, so anyway, um, yeah, I, as far as me, um, man, you usually have a lot more to talk about. Uh, as far as me, I mean, I mean, I had to miss work yesterday. I I mean, I, I, I had to, I had to miss work today. Why did you have to miss work today? I I woke up at at two thirty a.m. this um this morning with um with um with stomach cramps that quite literally felt like like um um a Hulk Hogan w- was was grabbing my insides and, and turning them upside down and and then subsequently curling them into balloon animal shapes. Well, but but how do you know what that feels like? How do you know what Hulk Hogan grabbing your intestines or whatever it was you said? How do you know what that I, feels like? I have a very, very vivid dream life. Okay. All right. So at some point you've had a dream about Hulk Hogan grabbing your intestines and twisting them? A nightmare, yes. That's a weird dream. That's a weird, I've, I've, I've weird, had weird, weird um, dream. But the weirdest dream I've had to date is mm-hmm. um, it's so weird. Um, I I remember it still so vividly. Bring it, I bring it. Sitting, let's, let's, all right, let's, I, let's, I am let's talk. I'm sitting on an elephant made out of cotton candy. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Playing stop, a stop, bacon stop, guitar stop, stop, with stop, Johnny stop. Depp, Depp um, um, made out of peppermint. No, stop, stop. Our audio cut out. So start that over. Our audio cut out. I want to hear this. Go, okay. start over. Start over? Yeah. So, <laughs> so the weirdest dream I've had to date is is essentially, I am riding atop an elephant made out of cotton candy. I am playing a bacon guitar, and um and and singing a and singing accompaniment is Johnny Depp wearing um wearing um wearing a peppermint striped suit. A, a what striped suit? Peppermint. Peppermint, yes. peppermint striped. Peppermint okay. striped, red and white. Okay. Cool. All yeah. right. Weirdest dream to date. I I don't really remember my dreams. Um, and, and look, and if I had dreams that I remembered, I don't remember crap anyway. So even if I did remember it at the time, I don't remember it now. However, yeah. um, I do remember a dream that your grandmother told me she had one time. Wait, um, what? Um, this uh, this was Grammy. This is Grammy. Yeah, this is my okay. mom. Um, she had a dream of walking up, walking through the woods, like swampland kind of woods, to an old log cabin, kind of like a log cabin you would see on the bayou in Louisiana, out in the middle of nowhere, right? Yeah. She walks up on this this old rickety log cabin, and sitting in a rocking chair on the front porch is a hound dog. 
but he's sitting like a person. And he's completely pink. And he's wearing sunglasses. <laughs> and he's whistling Dixie. That's it. That was the entire well, okay, dream. Then. That was the entire dream. <laughs> So, um, I, but like I said, I wish I remembered, I wish I remembered my dreams, but I don't really remember having dreams that much. Um, and when I do um, now, when I was little, I had nightmares and that kind of stuff, but I don't, you know, I mean, um, I think, I think I've probably been having a, um, I've actually been having a a, a recurring nightmare lately. Oh yeah. What's, what's, well, it is, it is getting close to Halloween and, and all that stuff. So, um, 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 Effectively, I am being chased by by a giant polar bear with um with with red and white color with red and black colorations on its paws, and that's the entire oh. dream. It's just me running away from this thing. Wow, that's weird. Yeah. So, um, I I, I do want to say I do want to say that that it, my wife made me some awesome um, homemade Arnold Palmer. It's yummy. Yeah. So, I just just. I'm drinking some Arnold Palmer this evening. Nice. Anyway, um, so I'm, I'm I'm sure I'm smacking into my microphone ton. No, don't do that. That's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> Please stop. Now I got to go edit all that out. Stop. No, you're not. To... Keep yes, it I will. It, it, it makes for good radio. <laughs> really? May, um, Seeing as how um, every person I've ever talked to. The even... reaction you make is good well, radio. Okay, it may be a good stream because you can see my reaction. But for the podcast, every audio person I've ever talked to says, "Get the smacks out." Every single person. So okay. yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. So what are we going to do tonight? We got this. We got this. 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 This weird movie. It that, literally that, looks like it belongs in um in in a high school level student film festival. Oh, it is uh, it's ooh, ooh, it's rough. It's rough, man. It is absolutely rough. Um and the ed- it's the editing quality is um is um is either current, middle or high school level or 1970s production level. Well, here's the thing. Um you know, it's one of those movies where they they pay an homage to like '80s movies or whatever, and they they rip on um, a bunch of movies, but as opposed like, as opposed to, and we're going to get to all those because there's some that the that, Terminatrix. There's some that they've mentioned that that you can see, but there's some that I picked up that they didn't even talk about on the IMDb page. Um, so I want to see if I can pull them all up so I can look at them. Um, anyway. But we're going to talk about that movie tonight, and we're going to talk about um, your geek question and just kind of oh, have yeah. fun with it. So uh, it's it's kind of interesting uh, what we got going on, but uh, I, I, usually we ramble for 30 minutes before we start on stuff. I don't yeah, have anything. So let's to, I don't, continue rambling. Okay, what do you want to ramble about? Because I got nothing to ramble about. Um, so I'll, I'll um, let's see. My my wedding is now quite literally under 20 days away. I know, isn't that crazy? I know. Oh man. I mean I mean I mean by this Saturday it'll be two weeks away. That's fourteen days. I know, it's crazy, dude. It's crazy. So I don't I um oh, I don't man. want to I don't want to imagine what it must feel like being two weeks away from no longer being single. The, um, beca- I, um, well, I don't well, remember what it's like I don't I don't remember what it's like to be single. Honestly, at all, honestly, at all, no. Honestly, I um I wouldn't have even considered myself quote unquote single by um by by my generation standards, just yeah, because I, I never had I a know. truly successful relationship until Nick's. You know, they they literally are my first successful and only relationship. Yeah, I know. You know? I know. I, I know. I, I'm, I mean, I mean, I know. Growing up, when um back back when Google Plus was still big, I had all these online things that that I ended up falling super hard for. Be um because I was the the victim of screen goggles. Screen goggles. What do you uh, you got a um um have have you ever heard of, of beer goggles or wedding goggles and stuff like that? Yeah. Um, screen goggles is basically the same thing, ex- uh, um, except it's through online relationships. Um, 
um, because um, because since since you can't really see each other or 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 truly talk to each other except through texts, um, um, sometimes um, sometimes the, the feelings grow even more just because there's no there's no added visual visual component. So 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 you feel like oh wow this person truly gets me. This feels really good, and and then it sort of grows from there. And then for me, it always spiraled out of control. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I hate that. Sorry, but that matter. They were. It only it. takes one. It only takes one, and you got the one. Yeah. So that's yep. all. That's all that matters. So um, after nine years, I finally got them. Yeah, well, it took a while, but you know, <laughs> that's a slow burn right there. Um, but so, um, but hey, I, I'm following McKay tradition. I escaped out of the friend zone. Uh yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, Granddaddy did with Grammy. You did with mom, and I did with Nick's. Now I don't remember so much your grand, my parents being friend. I don't remember my dad being friend zoned by my mom. Wasn't he? Yeah, I thought. Um, oh. thought I heard. Um, um, thought I heard heard stories. Of, um, um, of him truly wooing her through through a long period of time. Well, there was there was a wooing, yes, but I don't know that she friend zoned him. I think she was just playing coy. You know, just playing hard to get kind of stuff. I don't think it was a, you know, friend Isn't kind of thing. Isn't that, in a way, kind of the same thing, just just, uh, just with a different title? No, because it, it was, you know, no, because, anyway. There's a little bit of difference between being friend-zoned and just the person playing coy. So, okay. I, and I don't, I, I, this is not a relationship call-in show. Um, I don't know how <laughs> we got here. But be, um, yeah, be, um, we got here because um, because your firstborn son is 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 getting married very soon. I and know, I, and I like talking about it. I know. Then I can um, say, um, then I can um, say, I only mom, have two sons now. I'm just kidding. Um, mom, mom, mom I, I actually texted me um, um, a, a whole schedule thing for um, for that weekend. You know, because yep. um, uh, um, uh, uh, as you know, that Friday, I'm um, I'm going to be driving up to um, to the. Uh, um, Verbo place you guys rented, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, the whole family, right? Yep, and and then I'm basically going to be staying there um, un- until it's time to start help setting up for the wedding, and mm-hmm. me and Nick's are and me and Nick's are are going to stay apart for um, for that entire time. I'm I'm literally not going to see them or or communicate with them until I see them at the altar. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be. Yep, I know. So that's cool. I know. Um. Anyway. Uh, there is one thing I am struggling on. What is that? What are you struggling on, my son? My sounds vows. Like conf- sounds like confession. What's that? Wait, you guys are writing your own vows? Yeah. Okay, so you're the writer. Why are you having yes. trouble with your vows? The- because I have so much in my head that um that um I- I've got like ten different drafts, and I can't tell which one would be good for the situation. Be like ro- roses are red, violets are blue. I like you. Let's do this. I mean, I, 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 I don't, I don't know. Please that tell I'm me those weren't your vows. <laughs> no, we, no, we had the traditional wedding vows. That's what we did. So we were our wedding was apart from the location, which really wasn't a non-traditional location. It was just a neat little location where we had it. That little, uh, you know, stone chapel out in the woods, you know, the on the lake at Calva Gardens. Yeah, um, that but uh, you know, other than that being kind of a not your typical church type setting, um, it was a very traditional wedding. You know, we had to harp instead of piano or whatever. But um, we're gonna have a playlist yeah. with Loopy and DJ, basically. Uh, well, I don't know about that. I mean, he's gonna be handling all the uh, um, all your camera and doing all your videography stuff. So well, um, 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 but that's the thing. The thing with the playlist. Is some um um he um he he could connect his phone on to um to 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 Amazon, download the playlist we made, and and, and literally just control it on his phone. Well, sure he can. Um, so, yeah, um, well, y- y'all can uh, figure that out. This whole Bluetooth speaker thing, you know. Yeah, y'all can figure that out. But hey, speaking of oh, speaking he's, of your... um he is also going to he is also going going to do to the announcement of us. Okay, excellent, nice. Mm-hmm. So speaking of your brother, you know. He's our our hiker guy, videographer, does video editing for other people. The whole, you know, he's he's hiker trash YouTuber. Yep. <laughs> you know, um, quick question. Y- yeah, 
is he still planning on, on on going into the Air Force? And then if so, what in the Air Force is he planning on doing? I keep yeah, on I mean, he's, he's waiting on his slot, and he's waiting until January 8th. He said he, he's told them that he's available after January 8th because Michael Altsenheiser is getting married on January 7th, and he's in gotcha. Michael's he's in Michael's wedding party. So he nice. says, I'm good to go January 8th beyond. So he'll, he'll be gone sometime in January, February into the Air Force. Okay. It'll be something medical related. That's what he wants to do. But anyway, okay. so, I, I so, just wanted to confirm. So, you know, he's been doing all the video editing for Kyle Hates Hiking, you know, his YouTube yep. channel, like he's been doing the PCT. And then Luke went up to Pinhoti Days, the Pinhoti Trail. He was up there, or he may be up there now. I mean, I think it's a whole, it may just been the weekend. I can't remember because it is Monday. But he he started to have the whole, hey, you're Luke. Can I get a picture with you kind of thing? So people are starting to Wait, recognize him. So that was kind of cool. Hey, you're Luke. You did. He, he got a picture. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. So people are starting to recognize him. So that's kind of neat. Um, he's he starting says, to get that clout. He's starting yeah. to get that fame. I know. Oh, yeah, get so it, bro. you know, you get you and I have been doing this thing for 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 off and on for what four years, and you know we we may have two or three people listen or watch, <laughs> and he's already got about two thousand followers on YouTube. Um, to be fair scenery views and um and um and following someone's journey is a bit more entertaining than, than seeing a couple of guys with um with with colorful backgrounds <laughs> just sit and talk nerdy for for almost an hour i will full-on admit to that that's true that's true yes um and there's a lot of other nerdy people that sit on the screen and talk about nerdy stuff on twitch exactly. so i get that there there is not a lot of people that um that do what luke does well, there's 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 a lot of people that do what Luke does, but there's not a lot of people that do what Luke does and films it. That's what I meant. Right, right. So, anyway, um, so yeah, so that was kind of I'm, that was kind of a I'm cool thing for him, him this week. You know, yeah, you know, I am uh, very proud of him. Yeah, and and that's kind of where he wants to go with his after the after the military is do the hiking, the videography, video editing for other people, and he's completely self taught, man, and so and he does a really good job. So. Oh, yeah. Anyway, he's, um, he's he's gonna make us two videos, one serious and and one goofy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, it's gonna um, be fun. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of what's going on in our life. Um, I don't really have a lot other stuff going on other than us just kind of starting to gear up to get ready for you guys for for the wedding and oh, ooh, I have all something. the family coming in. Yeah, someone in this stream is thinking about joining the other person's campaign. I'm. I'm not doing a campaign. What are you talking about? No, you're 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 thinking of joining <laughs> my campaign. Thinking about it, thinking about it, it's just yeah. you know, it, it's it's all about timing and dividing yeah. time. You know, sp sharing time that I have with you and with your mom and yeah. So it, I, um, I'm considering. Um, on our way back from Dragon Con, on doing that big road trip for, for, from Atlanta all the way up to um to to Ohio. We just had to find a way to to fill in the silence, and while listening to to Adventure Inc., one of our um 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 one of our buddies, you know, we were listening to listening. Bot going down and Adventure Inc. on the way back. So, oh yeah, yeah. Um, and and then and then basically he um um my dad started asking me um about these campaigns I've been running, and and I truly found my calling as a DM. I'm, I mean, I like being a player. But being a DM is where I shine, you know. Right. And um, and because it allows you to write ever, it. Exactly. And yeah. I only ever run homebrew campaigns. I hate using published campaigns just because I feel like they put me in too much of a box, you know. And right. Um, and um, and so if if I do something that I made for myself, I'm able to adapt it a bit more to 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 the chaos of of, of a player group because they always throw through these curveballs at me you know yeah so Did so i was describing my campaigns to my dad and um and and you said something very interesting but i can't remember exactly what what was it <laughs> i have no idea i have a memory of a of a, of a like a, a, a some, filter um some, water some, filter some something about right that i can make this into an actual career or something oh no yeah yeah that's what i was about to say that that look you like writing and you always say you want to be a novelist we haven't gotten there yet however <clears throat> however you spit these things out, these campaigns, and write these campaigns. And when you were describing to me, they're very detailed and they're very interesting. One was your like traditional dungeon crawl, and one was a bigger campaign kind of storyline. And so, 
I highly encourage you, I will say it again, and it'll be out here on the interwebs now because it's on Twitch, and it's going to be on the podcast all through Apple Podcasts, everywhere you listen to podcasts, that I'm saying you need to write this campaign up in like formalized documentation and submit it for publication and start doing that and looking towards that. That could be your career right there. I know. As a game um, writer. And, and I have been looking at at that, and um, good. And, and I've been working on, on on all on all three <clears throat> of my campaigns plus my book whenever I can. Yeah. So I would I would go buy a, a module, go buy a campaign module. I actually have one. one okay. Storm King's Thunder. And then just use that as as how to format writing it, and then submit it, submit it to yeah. Wizards of the Coast or you know anything you know. So I think that'd be a great idea. So yeah. anyway. All right, I think we've chased his chickens. Let's 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 do the geek question. How about we do the geek question? Well, let's see. Him. Let's let's just review. Um, okay, um, what are we see. reviewing here? Okay, we we um we we talked about our lives. We um um we which nobody's we chased at in. least we chased at least three chickens. Talked about my wedding, which um, nobody's interested you, in. Um, you you showered me with compliments. I think we're good. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> We've checked off all the boxes for words of affirmation, I guess. Yes. Okay. That is one. That is one of my love languages. I know you. Um, bit, um, me bit, too. Because let's be honest, my self confidence is crap. Uh, hey, dude, I I live with imposter syndrome every day. So you'd think I wouldn't with the, what I do and how long I've been doing it, but it's still there. It's so. genetic. God dang it, Dad! You cursed me with this. Oh no! It goes. It goes multi generational. It's. It's goes up to grammy and no no it, it's 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 a that's long why I, said it, that's why yeah. I said it's genetic it's multi-generational okay so how about we, now let's do the geek question all right let's do it i want to ask you a bunch of questions and i want to have them answered immediately all right I my son questions and i want them answered immediately well, see, I jumped right in because I thought you weren't doing that anymore, so I messed you no, up. Sorry. No, I, I I was listening to it again to see it to see if I could get the voice down. How do you think I did? I don't know. I was talking when you did it because I wasn't expecting you to mind. do that. So, so, anyway. Anyway. Wow. We are we are just kind of like just stumbling, bumbling through this. I feel like Keith Jackson at a college football game. Bumbling. No, that's okay. There's okay. Hold on. There's another chicken. There's another chicken for you. Stumbling, bumbling. That's that's like Keith Jackson back for ABC College Football back in the day. Stumbling, bumbling. Anyway, that's you, anybody. ABC. Any people that follow Talk sports ball. One, two, three. Mm-hmm. How, what? What? Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry, people. <laughs> what? Okay. Ask ask the geek question so we can try to get back on track. Go. No, what, uh, what, what what was so bad? We're just spiraling down the drain here. What so, you you said A B C I had to I had to go in um into Jackson five. Okay. I, I mean I get where you went, but just because you can doesn't mean you should. Hey, um, <laughs> if I ever get get an, um, an excuse to to show off my my silky vocals, I will. So that's what you call it. Got it. All right. <laughs> Ask the stinking geek question, will you? <laughs> okay, okay. The geek question is: If you were trapped on a road trip with um with um with two annoying nerddom fandom people or characters who would they be and what would be the and what would be the annoying thing they do know what i mean yeah i have to think about this one okay like basically who would be the two worst nerdy characters to go on a road trip with okay excuse me all right go i mean you asked the question surely you got an answer all right First off, right out the gate, Sheldon Cooper. Okay. Right out the gate, Sheldon uh, Cooper, just because he would be babbling and babbling about about all of these, but all these fun facts about everything around you, just and just being the classic know-it-all and never shutting up. 
and um and um and and he'll and he'll just be like um ooh ooh a ten miles till we're out of gas who who um um exits up here come on come on um and you missed it no he'll he'll just constantly be telling you what to do from the passenger seat okay all right I get I get that I get that man I'm I'm drawing a blank here man go ahead um let's see. If the if the person is really really short, can they, can I can I have two of them count as one? I don't care. You can do whatever you want to. It's your question. <laughs> yes, but um, but I need parameters, and I when I ask you for confirmation of um of, of the parameters, so okay. you can help evolve the question. Okay. So, how many how many adults can a sedan typically carry comfortably? Four, um, right? Four. Yeah. So four. you and three other people. You can have a max of three. Okay. All right. Um, and then let's see. How long do we want the road trip to be? Are um are are, are we talking like like eight cross hours country. or cross cross country? So Route sixty six, coast to coast. Route sixty six, coast multiple to coast. Multiple days. Yes. Oh no 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 no. That that is actually on on my bucket list to drive Route sixty six from start to finish. Yeah. That, yeah. that is my dream. Okay. You know. Yeah, um, man, I'm still, I'm just, I'm just so drawing a blank here, dude. Um, let's see. Jeez. Um, I feel like the next two who would be the worst would be Mary and Pippin. No, they'd be fun. No, um, they, um, they'd They're... be fun for the first few hours, but um, but then, then with um, with um, with their prankster antics, kind um, kind of immaturish personalities um the constant constant singing and constant eating it'll get to you um or uh, uh, um halfway halfway into day one and, um, okay. and then you'll really be pissed off ready i'm um, ready to throw those those um th- 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 half pint punks off a bridge you know okay all right okay what else who else those 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 are my three. Oh, those are your three that's it oh geez yeah. I, i've only got one in my head right now um. Okay, I I, I, I want because you know, and I say this all the time, I am great with recognition. I'm terrible with recall. Okay. So I I, 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 I did I did th- I did think of one, and I want to get you to throw out some fandoms and and see if, if that'll help trigger some things for me. Okay. Okay. But the first one, right out of the gate. And it's not a nerdy thing, but it is a fandom thing. It's not a nerd fandom. It's just kind of like pop culture. Okay? Yeah. Janice from Friends. Oh, hello, Sean McKay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and, and. Oh, it's, my God. And, listen, not only is it just Janice, it's Janice who is in love with you, and, and it's just that how she, fa- yeah, it's, it's that kind of thing. Yeah, so Janice, Janice that would be kind of fondling thing with the hands. She, on she your would, chest she would be the first just, one. Like, yeah, she would I be the first one. Sugar bean. Um. All right. So that would, yeah, that that would, I would, um, I would not have any eyeballs after about the first five miles because I would have dug them out with a dull rusty spoon. So hopefully, I could crash the car and die. But okay, uh, god dang. <laughs> so right, or at least um, or I would perforate from my eardrum so I couldn't hear or that'd something. That'd be better at least. Anyway, so there's that, one that, that can be healed a bit better. So tearing your so, eyes out can't be. So throw so throw me so throw me some other fandoms out there. Star Wars. Star Wars, man, I can't think of anybody that would really annoy the. I'm, um, you also can't think of anybody. Yeah, that's true, but <laughs> but but look, he doesn't bother me as much as he bothers some people. I just okay I, no 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 oh, okay okay um to be fair we only get cumulatively about two hours of Jar Jar throughout the entire franchise right think um think about multiple days worth of nothing but of just pure Jar Jar in a confined space with no escape well and and he would also cause all kinds of accidents within the car exactly. Things would be broken. Things would be spilled. Things would, yeah. I, I, I get that. He would be annoying. Um, not high still, on my list, but he would make, be annoying. Still, still wouldn't make your list, though. 
No, I don't think so. Um, um, how about Marvel? Marvel, man, I don't really find anybody in that annoying. Um, no, not really. I kind of feel like Thor, um, from from Ragnarok and over. Would be would be very annoying in the car. Maybe Loki. Um, Lo- Loki, not so much, just because she, he would be entertaining, but, but at the same time, he he keeps to himself. But no, Thor is he social butterfly? And, True, and, but he'll be all over you, talking to you, you know. Yeah, but Loki questions. Loki always thinks he knows everything and he's smarter than everybody, but he's not, and so. He would constantly be telling you how to drive, where to drive, you know, and be wrong. Would he know? So would he, he would know? tell. Would he though what? Be wrong. Um, um, the wood. No, um, no, um, no. Would he act like that? He normally keeps to himself. Um, uh, um, unless there's unless there's a certain scenario that would benefit him. You know. Right. So you would never know if he was being stupid or if he was being manipulative. Exactly. That would be annoying to me. All right. So maybe maybe Loki, Jar Jar, Loki. Um, so, all so right, Janice Star and Loki. Star Trek. Oh, without a doubt, can... we, without a doubt, Wesley Crusher. I I I would have thought George Takei. Eh, yeah, but but not not George Takei is Sulu. No no no, just... no 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 Neelix Neelix. Yeah, Neelix is, can be kind of annoying, but he's kind of actually pretty helpful. And he's always there to try to boost everybody's self-esteem. So True. Um, but no, Wesley Crusher. I always found him annoying. Uh, that's and, that's the... Uh, is, um, is that the Russian guy? No, that's Will Wheaton's character. I've literally never seen his character, actually. You've never watched... Um, I've never Next seen Generation? anything of Next. No, I've never seen anything of Next Generation. Wow. Okay. Um, or, yeah. He, um, or the original. Yeah. So all, well, I, I didn't watch as much of the original. All Voyager a and a bit of Deep Space Nine, and um, and and then a season or two of um, of the second most recent iteration of um, um of Enterprise. Star Trek when, um, yes, Enterprise. Yeah. I couldn't remember the title. I kind of like that one. I never could finish it though. I've watched it several times. The and I never intro quite get always annoyed me though. Oh man, that okay? It was freaking nineteen eighties that's, hair rock. You just that's, like I've got faith in the heart. <laughs> okay, so that would be that would be on the listen. That would be on the Spotify channel playlist on the road trip on an endless loop. It would never stop. There, that's a character and, in and of itself, right there. Um, and um, and then by the time you get from from, from from Chicago all the way to Cali, you you and everybody in the car will will be jamming out to it, singing along to oh it. Oh my it, gosh, like, that, favorite song. I can't I can't even imagine how annoying that would be. Um, I'm trying to um, have a heart. Golly, man, I'm trying to think of somebody else. Um, they, uh, they would just see. annoy the crap out of me. Um, and I know there's characters that I hate. I just can't think of them. Um, anyone from Destiny? Ooh. Um, I feel like Eris would be annoying. Eris, Eris Morn's annoying. She's always annoying to me. Yes, I that yeah, but uh, um. I'm trying to think who else, man, from one of the other games that we play. Um, can't go Diablo. There's not there. Um, uh, there's not enough true dialogue or, characters in there to be. Oh, there, you know. uh, oh, I can't think of his name though. He he's so, he's he's one of the he's one of the Shirogorath, Shirogorath from Oblivion, the 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 god Shirogorath. He was so annoying. His voice and everything he did was annoying. He always played pranks on people. Is is like the guy of that Loki. gives you the Wabajack in, yes. in Skyrim? Yes, that guy. Don't like that guy. <laughs> um, he would be a character to be on a road trip with. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I'm trying to think if there's somebody from one um, of these others. Um, Ooh, Dad, have a um, have a powder toast man. Wow. Now he would just <laughs> he would just make the place reek. So, um, although and um he, and um and um and his oddly big nipples poking through his his <laughs> unitard would um <laughs> would be very distracting. That gives extra he, headlights, right? He um, <laughs> he um he would also have have the weird habit of insisting on sitting backwards. They, True. Um, yeah. They um they facing the back of the car with um with um with, with, with his oddly perky bubble butt facing towards you. Yeah. Um. Maybe maybe Waldorf and Stadler from Muppet Show. Those two old guys that sit up in the balcony. The entire time they'd just be heckling you. <laughs> that would be pretty annoying. That'd be pretty stinking annoying. Um, it, it, it um okay, i um I feel I feel like it it will go through four stages. First stage it'd be funny. Second stage it'd be getting kind of annoying, you know, kinda of tired out, still funny in some ways. Third stage it, um it, it would just end up getting to your self confidence and really hurting you. Yeah. And, um and and then the fourth stage, you would just be completely numb to it. Yeah, Tom Bombadil from Lord of the Rings. Um, no idea who that is. Well, I mean, he wasn't in the movies, but he's he has an entire chapter in 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 the first book. And I I, I haven't had a chance to read the books. I know, I know. I don't own the books. I know, I know. You own the so, books. Could you lend them to me? Maybe. Um, cool. So. So anyway, he's just this character, and he just kind of shows up as they're traveling to the Prancing Pony. I think that's when they're on the way to Prancing Pony, or maybe it's from the Prancing Pony. No, it's yeah, it's, it's on the way to the Prancing Pony, and Ooh, and and he just he bounds around and he sings and he sings and and rhymes and he controls things and he lives for, he's lived lived forever and all just weird stuff, and then you never hear from him ever again. He's just there. It's like you know. It's like Tolkien's publisher says, stretch it, stretch it. So he just threw a chapter in there. I, I, I still, to this day, and I, of course I haven't researched it well enough, I don't understand, never understood the, the point of Tom Bombadil, and I just found his character kind of annoying. So Question. that would be kind of annoying, yes, because he'd be constantly singing in rhymes and lyric, limericks and stuff or something. Okay. Yes, yes. How How's this for you? Um, Bombadil and um, um, riding shotgun... Mm-hmm. Um, and then Gimli and Legolas in the back, const- constantly playing car games to 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 try and one up each other and getting into arguments the entire time. No, but I like those two. I like Gimli yes, and Legolas, but, so they um, wouldn't be annoying. But, they wouldn't be annoying um, to me in the car. Um, constantly, constantly playing punch buggy with each other. No, yeah, uh, but just let them do their thing in the back. That 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 because that, that's between them. That wouldn't bother me because I like their characters. So they wouldn't annoy me as much. Um, oh, another guy that would uh, the steward of Gondor, you know, Boromir's dad. He was a nasty booger. So the guy, especially the guy that he played wasn't it, really was, annoying though. He was just a, a punk. He he was just a jackass. He was mean and he hated you know Faramir and he was kind of crazy and he's disgusting when he eats. If you remember when he's sitting there eating <laughs> and he's sitting there eating and and and. <laughs> You know, oh, yeah. Pippin, smacking, Pippin is there. Like, nom, 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 nom. Pippin is there as one of his guardsmen, and he's just disgusting. Yeah. So, definitely would not want to pull up to a Sonic and have to sit and eat with him at, at, on a road trip at a Sonic. That'd be nasty. <laughs> nope. Get some, get some cheese fry, chili cheese fries, or something, and just uh, no, nah, he'd be gross. So, yeah. definitely would not want to eat with him. So anyway, so I threw oh, a bunch of them out there. I don't know if any of them are any good, but I threw a bunch of them out there that would be super annoying to be be with. Oh, yeah. um, I still feel like mine would take the cake. I'm sure they would, although Janice could probably take them all. So yeah, yeah, just because of her pure essence of being. Yeah, I'd love to go on a road great trip. Great actress, with the... great actress, horrible yeah. character. I would love to go on a road trip with the characters from It Crowd. All three I'd of love them, to have, or, um, I, I, um, um, yeah, or, all three um, of them. All three of them, because I think because their their personalities are unique enough that they they make a good mix. Although Moss would definitely be riding shotgun up front with me. Absolutely, Moss would be up front riding shotgun. Oh yes, Moss Moss would definitely be be riding shotgun with you, sir. <laughs> You're 
are so good at doing this crap. I wish I could do that stuff. I can't what? do that stuff. I can't what, do what, voices. Was, um, was, um, was, was, was that actually close? Good? It was close. I mean, if you worked at it, you could, yes. So, anyway. Ha, I got you. Hey, um, <laughs> that's not your coffee. This is your coffee. Oh, no, wait. This is my coffee. Very good, Connor. I wish I could do that. I, I, I envy your ability to do that kind of stuff. Um, I, I, you know, I'm just you. You have that one voice that you stuck with, and yeah. and you let your talent die off. I never really had a talent, and I was too introverted to try new things in, in front of other people to work on stuff. You got to be pretty extroverted to be able to do that stuff, and I'm not. You, even around your own kids. I mean, yeah, but but they were they were bad, so I didn't keep doing them. <laughs> we we were ten and eight. We didn't give a crap. We we just wanted you to make us laugh. So anyway, and you always did. Well, I tried, but uh, then it got to where it was all dad humor, and then y'all got, and then y'all just made y'all groan. You know, oh, dad, stop. So, so anyway, um, okay, oh, dad. Yeah, did we want to talk? What? What? How 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 was the wool festival? Oh oh yeah. Uh, I wish I'd have had a sheep on here. Um. So last weekend, yeah. So last last episode, I talked about that that my wife and I were going to a wool festival, uh, a wool gathering they called it, and because my wife is a huge knitter, she's kind of a yarn snob. It's like wool or nothing, and so we went and um, I did a little TikTok video. Actually, didn't he? Never even filmed a, a llama. Those were alpacas that that I had on the, on the TikTok and sheep and stuff, but. They had sheep and, and alpacas and llamas there, and they were shearing sheep, and they had angora uh, rabbits and yaks. I didn't get it. I didn't film a yak. They had yaks there. They were getting yak they wool. They had yaks? Yes. And then all these all these um, people, you know, making their own yarn and spinning their own yarn and all that kind of stuff. So it was it was actually fun. I had a blast just kind of hanging out with your mom and got I picked out some, some yarn, and she's going to make me a slouchy beanie. And she picked out some yarn for herself. She's going to make her some mittens. And so I know for some people go, that sounds super boring, but it was actually pretty fun. Um, so, yeah, it was it was kind of cool. So if you want to see a little taste of it, um, you can go see my I Touched a Llama kind of uh, video on TikTok. Now, I know that, I didn't that. say it right. I'm not even trying to. So just stop. Gonna... All yeah. right, Carl. Go ahead, Carl. Yeah, he got to touch a llama. Although it's actually an alpaca. Are capybaras there? No, no capybaras. Just, just alpacas just... and sheep. Yeah. And angora bunnies. Was Jimmy's mom there? <laughs> no, Jimmy's mom wasn't there, Carl. What about croissant? So calm down, Carl. Jimmy's mom wasn't there. I'm sorry, just, Carl is just, just a simp for Jimmy's mom. Just, just, just check the hormones, Carl, and let's move on. To be fair, Carl was um Carl was a character in the prime of heavy hormonal puberty. I get that, but I'm just saying, check them. So anyway, so yeah, so that was fun. Thanks for reminding me. I was going to talk about that this week, but um, Ooh, Dad, so wait, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yes. I know someone else who would be very annoying to um to drive in the car. Carl. No, 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 not Carl, not Carl. Oh, okay. Who? The French Knight from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. The French Knight? Yeah, the French Knight. Oh, 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 the one up on the castle? Yeah, I thought about him. I thought in your general direction. I thought about him your when I was, was looking. Your mother a hamster, and your father smelts of the elderberries. Elderberries, yeah. I would thought about when I was looking at my, my picture back here. I thought about that guy, but yeah. But anyway, but I, I didn't bring him up, so. Um, I, another one that I thought about was, was the... Uh, the priest performing the 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 wedding in Princess Bride. Mallard, <laughs> can we play stop for McDonald's? <laughs> I have to take a heavy pass. Are you okay? I'm fine. I just loved the I just love the breathy pause between heavy and piss. That was 
Wow, I don't care if anybody watches this or listens to this at all. I have a blast hanging out with you. So anyway, okay. Hey, let's talk about this crappy movie that we watched. Can you want to do that? Huh? Yes. Yes, let's talk. Okay. Oh, I'm going to blast this thing so, harder. Her than, so, um, the, the, the Wendy Spicy Nuggets blasts me. So now it's time for the next installment of... Roll for Credits. All right, and so today we are talking about a movie from 2019 we watched on Amazon, and the name of the movie is Manifest Destiny Down Space Time. Um, It stars Jeff Kenny as Toby, Lexi Lowell as, what was her name again? Do you remember, Connor? Um, Kara. Kara. And then Jonathan T. Baker as the agent, who also was the writer and director. So it was pretty much just the three of them. He also spoke in a weirdly high-pitched voice, kind of like this. It was literally just basically three people, the entire movie. Um, Here's the the, uh, the little tagline, okay? Um, Excuse me. An awkward physics genius and an ex-Catholic sorority girl wake up after... blacking out Halloween night to discover they missed the evacuation of Earth. A mystery agent pursues their theory of everything as they try to save humanity from AI. Now, if you think that sounds confusing, you would be right. That That is very clear step-by-step instructions to do anything compared to the actual movie. Um, this so, movie was so confusing, it made Time Bandits look like Citizen Kane. Wow. App description. Although I don't know if I'd pick Citizen Kane because you've never seen Citizen Kane. And I haven't either. You know. Um, but okay, okay. Um. It. Um. It. It made Time Bandits look like. Um. Lord of the Rings, Radio. you know, okay, something, yeah, Lord of the Rings. okay, so anyway, yeah, um, so the premise of this movie is, so he, this Toby character is, um, some nerdy quantum physics major in college. Who I feel like has Asperger's, just because with the way he was just kind of all over he, the place. He had OCD, he had OCD, he had, um... Um, you know, a lot of anxiety. So he would take his medicine and then uh, wash it down with vodka in a skull bottle. Question. <laughs> yes. What exactly is Xanax? It's an anti-anxiety medication. Okay. Something something you take as needed. It's not like which is why they don't prescribe it that much anymore because Xanax, Ativan, those kind of me- oh, so a medical minute uh, from a psychologist. Um, so those they don't prescribe them that much anymore because you take them as you need them and they can make you they they calm you down they make you feel like ah I feel better right and so take they too can, much and, and 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 it gives you a high and you become a dependent on that high you right? could they're very they can be very addicting right so today um, most of the time uh, except in some cases like panic attacks or whatever they prescribe some of the newer antidepressants, the SSRIs, yeah. um, because they are chemically designed where they work just as well with anxiety as they do depression, and you take them every day just like a vitamin, and they don't make you feel good. They just take the edge off, so the anxiety never really builds up. So yeah. anyway, so yeah, so he takes Xanax, and he drinks alcohol, chases it down with alcohol, um, and apparently he has discovered hey. that oh, there's something about... Um, there's something about... There's... Theory, you know, physics theories of big stuff like planets and everything, and physics theories of small stuff like atoms and quarks and stuff. And those theories don't mesh. They don't. They don't. They contradict each other. However, somehow they fit. And so apparently, the the physics world is trying to come up with this thing called the theory of everything and and the God particle that fits it all together. And somehow this kid apparently. Um, discovered the formula that tied it all together. But it starts with him waking up in his room, in his apartment or dorm room, and this girl 
is laying in his mm. bed, and they've apparently, you know, got got together yep. and hooked up that night, and um, both passed out. And his when he dialogue wakes, is going crazy, and yeah, and when he wakes up, nobody's, everybody's gone. There's literally nobody. He looks outside. Literally, there's no there's, other people on the on the earth. There's it looks beer like. cans on the ground, phones on the ground. That's when you know something is up in modern day if, if, if their cell phones are on the ground. Yeah, and so and then he gets a call from his Russian father saying, "Get Russian to the or German? What is it?" Oh no, it sounded no. It's definitely Russian. It's definitely Russian. And he said, um, "Get to get to the evacuation site, you're, or you're going to miss it." And then some agent starts to show up and well, chase weird. them down. And there's something about multiverse and entanglement. And they've got to work together to get to this site and uncover everything. Um, oh, guys, I don't, I don't even know how to describe this movie. Um, she okay. dresses, she dresses when she gets when when she gets dressed after she wakes up and they figure out what's going on and she agrees to to go with him. She puts on her outfit and it's like a Catholic schoolgirl outfit, which I guess was her costume. But she used to go to Catholic school. Here is a good way to describe it, in my opinion. Oh my gosh! I hope you can describe think, it better than I can. Think bargain bill. I'm sorry. Think bargain bin. Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. But um, the but um, the but then that bargain bin version got bootlegged by um by a high school film crew, and that's the kind of quality this movie was. Except there was no time travel here. There was interdimensional type stuff or whatever. But and that's why. That's why I said bargain. Bin. Yeah. Um, you, 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 you got to slightly change stuff up in, 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 in the bargain bin so you don't get hit with, with copyright lawsuits. So it kind of becomes a little bit of a road trip where they're trying to get to Pasadena from wherever they were, you know, in L.A. to Pasadena to get to the rocket. They go back Wait, to that's the dorm. not a long trip, it's is it? It's not. It's not. It's not. It's like two hours at most. Especially it's with nobody on the planet. And they got to worry about traffic uh, in L.A. Um, and then they, they this this thing is, this guy is chasing them, and he's dressed up like Agent Smith from The Matrix. There's, they rip on so many things in this movie. The Terminatrix. The Terminatrix instead of the Terminator. The uh, Matrix credits is a full-on ripoff of Star Wars. Yeah, the, uh, right. And did you notice that that it said episode and it was Roman numeral? It was sixty nine. Yeah. 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 Okay. So it's so it was like sophomoreish high school, eighties um, high school movie humor you and that know kind of the stuff. Quality of this movie, you could see the green screen um, halo around these people. Mm-hmm. In some scenes, you. That's could. how you know how bad of a quality this movie was. And so because not even in because. Not even in most modern uses of the green screen, if somebody knows what they're doing, they can help get rid of that halo around them. Yeah, this person didn't even bother with that. But there were several movies that this thing ripped on, and I'm, and there was there's three that I can re- remember on this list that I saw, and I can't remember what the fourth one was. So Matrix, and there was um, a Terminator. There was... So the Star Wars, that's what it was, the Star Wars. And then the other one was American Beauty, because at one point she's laying in a tub covered in rose petals like in the American Beauty. However, mm-hmm. there was more that I picked up on that uh, nobody else did. So so here's this guy, okay, and he's the super smart physicist, right? Mm-hmm. And he's walking around for the first 10, 15 minutes of the movie wearing nothing but boxers and fuzzy bunny slippers. <laughs> Now, does anybody does anybody out there in TV land know what movie that comes from? That was one of Real my science? favorite one of no one of my favorite movies um, growing up in the eighties and everything with Val Kilmer about a school full of geniuses. Real genius. Real genius. He walks around that's at one what, point. That's, the, that's what I meant. He's walking around. Yeah, you said weird science. Um, no, no, I, I said real science. Okay. So anyway, so he's walking in at one point. He's walking in in a robe and boxers and fuzzy bunny slippers, and he pulls out some liquid nitrogen that he's you know uh, that has been uh, some ice that he's frozen in liquid nitrogen and cuts nickels to, <laughs> that that are gonna this dry ice to get his his coffee with stuff. Anyway, 
Um, he also I gotta created watch Dry that movie again now. That's, oh, that's man. a good so, movie. So that that was in there. I'm surprised there wasn't something about it's nailing. It's basically a movie full of nerds that can get it. You know. So this movie ripped on so many different things, and then they then they tried to go into. Oh oh, and at the beginning when he's going and they're showing some credits and stuff, it says based on real science. I'm like, say they're ripping on everything. So. Um, so that they go into some really in-depth discussion about quantum physics and entanglement and multiverse type stuff, which I'm assuming is pro- part of quantum mechanics and everything. But um, the guy um, would say it all, so fast, you didn't know um, if he was just BSing all, or what was going on. All the info he said when describing what he studied was correct, but the stuff, he, but um, um, but um, but the, but the stuff he, he was talking about using his own theory was all bullcrap. Okay. I checked it. Okay. Now let's not forget that we also have the 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 um the whole Catholic guilt struggling with my faith storyline that she had that all of a sudden she's like I didn't even really pick up on that. She was just oh, enough. No no I did not even pick up on that. I mean I'm not I'm not saying that it was a serious thing. That's just like something else they threw in there. It's like oh we got quantum physics over it here was we got shoehorned her shoehorned in there. The entire movie was shoehorned into the movie. Okay, I mean, let's <laughs> let's let's be honest. Um, and you know, and and then oh, by the way, he he wrote out the formula on toilet paper when he was taking a dump, but he ran out of toilet paper, so he used it to wipe himself, so he didn't have the formula to anymore. Be fair, he, so um, to be fair, he, um, he was some kind of inebriated at the time. Either high or drunk or some was, combination of both. Yeah, he talked about some kind of chemical called salvia that was mm-hmm. like some kind of almost like DMT or, or whatever it's called. DMT or peyote. Uh, you know, peyote, mess, all that kind of stuff. And that out of some beer that he had made using it and it kind of transporting him to a different plane where he was like one with the universe. And that's when he figured out this formula. So to he, get um, there. He was, he was also banging the universe. Remember? Oh, by the oh, and by the way, the 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 agent that's following them the whole time that sometimes she could see and he couldn't because it was in different dimensions or whatever. I didn't understand that. I don't, I don't um, it. Turns out he's an agent from Amos Noogle. Yeah, Amos Noogle. Instead of instead of Amazon or Google, it was Amos Noogle. And Amos Noogle. And they apparently had, because they were trying to take over the world, everybody on the Earth disappeared because they digitized everybody on the planet and put them into the, into the cloud computing system. And so they had to go back in time somehow or go back. In, Using in a, a turtle. Different dimension with a turtle. Yes, they used a turtle to go back in time. <laughs> Just saying, people. They, they were just driving saying. in reverse. This dude With, put, a, put, put, put a live tortoise named on, Tank. on the dash. Named Tank. Named Tank. He taped a watch on, onto this thing. He um he um um he he he, he put on glasses that they they look like freaking you know, um Jordan LaForge's glasses on um on um from and um and, um, and, and he closed his eyes, flipped the whole car in reverse, and um and, and um and, and looked at the car and said. Do what I do and close your eyes. I'm not gonna close your eyes while um while, okay. while, while we're driving reverse in a car with a turtle on the dash. So like, do so it. Do you see how bizarre this movie is, people? They they put a turtle on the dash and taped a, a watch a to tortoise. it as a tortoise. tortoise as they're driving backwards to help them go back in time to when he was crapping. To Which, by back the way, that's to, exactly where they ended up. Back to their his his dorm room the night that they hooked up, and he's taking a dump so that he can remember what the formula is again, and you know and oh 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 here's here's another one here's another one um here's another uh, if anybody else recognizes this scene so they're in the bathroom, you know and she's still just wearing her you know blouse half unbuttoned Catholic schoolgirl outfit typical eighties kind of you know, thing. He's sitting on the on the toilet, tr- taking a dump because it starts with a black screen. Are we like, talking with the rap scene? No, I'm not there yet. Okay. I'm not even there yet. <laughs> and so, so they go back in time. And all of a sudden, the screen's blank, and she's like, "Where are we? Is anybody here?" And then you hear, 
Bloop. Bloop. And she's like, oh my God. So he's back on the toilet taking a dump. They're in the bat in his bathroom again. So to help re- help him remember, you know, his formula, so he can write it down because the agent wanted the formula to somehow tie everything together for Amma's Noogle. I never understood that. But as they're doing that, um, he started, you know, he had told her that he's a musician and he's a rapper. She mm-hmm. said she's a singer songwriter, kind of like Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Something wrong with Taylor Swift? No, 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 just, just not my thing. So he starts rapping while he's sitting on the pot taking a dump in Russian. So he starts rapping and speaking in Russian. She immediately starts getting noticeably, um, physically and in, physically interested. So the more he spoke Russian, the more aroused she got, and the more aroused she got, the more he was able to remember the formula. Now, the scene for anybody, I was remembering. Uh, hold on, I'm not, I'm, not reminded, I'm, not done, reminded, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not. I'm not done here yet. So, for people out there, tell me a movie where a man is speaking a different language and the woman starts getting aroused. And then when he starts speaking Russian, she freaks slap out and falls in love with him. Anybody out there, and I know nobody's watching tonight, but I mean, anybody out there, shoot us a text, shoot, you know, respond to us on Twitter or Instagram or anywhere. Like, I have what no movie idea is that? what movie you're saying. A Fish Called about. Wanda. John Cleese and, and um, 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 Jamie Lee Curtis. Yep. That exact scene. They're, well, not not him taking a dump, but they're in a place and they're supposedly they're supposedly um, going to hook up. But she's there trying to get a key from him or something, and he starts speaking in Italian. He starts speaking in Italian, and she loves when other when when people speak in foreign languages. So she's getting kind of aroused because he's speaking Italian, and as she's getting aroused, he's oh, but it's such a terrible language, and it just catches like this. He says Russian is such a much better guttural type language he starts speaking in fluent Russian and she goes ballistic so there's another movie they ripped on was Fish Called Wanda so there's at least six movies I, that they ripped on I, um, I was thinking more I was thinking more of that scene in um in in Bruce Almighty he and when um, when he's um when he's using his new god powers to to seriously arouse Jennifer Aniston you know no no but that would that but that was with power that wasn't with him just talking this was straight out of Fish Called Wanda all right. So so anyway, so then he's he's rapping in Russian. They get the formula. They give the formula to the Amaz Noogle agent guy, and then how did? And that's kind of how the movie ended, right? Um, it uh, it actually fully ended with um with um, with them both of them getting calls from from, from Amos Noogle and being uploaded into the cloud. Right, and, right, um, right. And then um and, and then it fully ends with um with um with everybody being being. D downloaded from the cloud, except for those two, and, uh, St- and they, they stayed caught. in a video game or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so there you go, people. So the people that were digitized got de-digitized back to Earth. They got digitized in the cloud and stayed there, and that was the end of the movie. And then, and then, the closing music and credits are him rapping in Russian. And her doing a full-on Taylor Swift singer songwriter kind of song together, folks. It's ridiculous. You, can, you can't make this up. You can't make this movie up. Um, I, I well, I mean, obviously they did make it up, and I think they just made it up on the fly. Um, I, I, we've seen bad movies before, just because they were bad. They were not really well done or whatever. Um, this movie was bad because they because they wanted it to be bad. I think I think maybe so. I think they purposely. But wh- here's my feeling: Why would you want to waste money? Because did you see the credits? All the people that were involved in helping make this movie, and there was hundreds of people on the staff making this movie. Why do you want to spend that kind of money to make a movie that's purposely that bad? I, bono. I, I don't get that, man. So plus, anyway, um, um, plus a cult following, you know. So uh, they were trying. I, they were trying to go with um go with the whole. The whole "it's so bad, it's good to to watch and laugh at." Yeah, so you know, to quote, uh, um, I think it's Charles Dickens. Um, it was the best of the times. It was the worst of times. I can't remember. I can't remember. 
why are you talking about Charles Dickens um, um, when we're talking about a movie he, uh, um, uh, of two I, college people I'm, riding I'm, around with a tortoise? I, I, I'm getting there. Because The Best of Times was when we talked about Who Am I last week. It was a good uh-huh. movie, right? Mm-hmm. It was a movie that just a random movie that we really liked. It was really good. And then the very next week, we get this one. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if I had Hopefully a. Hopefully, the if, next movie will be better. If I had a toilet flush sound effect, I'd use it, but I don't have one because it was. So, uh, all right. I, I, if you want to, if you, if you're one of those kind of people that loves watching really bad um, movies, go for it. It's on Amazon. Watch it. It's an hour and 40 minutes long, something like that. Um, I would give it. Including mm, credits. Yeah, I would give it maybe a two or a one star out of ten. Maybe. It's got a zero star from me, Dad. Oh, and 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 the guy that the Jeff Kennedy that played Toby mm-hmm. reminded me so much of Corey Feldman back in the eighties, like in the the um No idea who um, that is. License to drive eighties, the the movie, the the um uh, Lost Boys, Corey Feldman, those kind of things. Kind of remind me of that. I mean, is the way he moved his mouth when he talked and everything. Yeah, so it's... Uh, d- don't, d- don't, don't. Listen, we watched it so you don't have to. <laughs> that needs to be our slogan for this. Yes, we watched watch them so you, so you don't have, don't have to. to. Yeah, that's what I should have put on, <laughs> on the, the billboard back there. Um. Anyway, so uh, don't, don't, just, just, just... Don't don't do that to yourself. Don't. So, all right. So let's. How about we get out of here and 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 do something else? How about we let's roll for roll for the next movie. Roll for the next movie and then get out of here. Roll it. All right. So rolling, rolling. Okay, so we're gonna roll our twenty sided die to see what what service we're using, and I got a six, so that's Amazon again. So we're doing Amazon again. Oh, Lord. And then I rolled an eight, which is horror. So we're going to watch a horror. Connor and I are not fans of horror movies. But it is It is going to be, it is going to officially be October next week. So. Yeah. And I rolled a 34. So I'm going, no, not, wait. Sorry, my my dice fell. Let me re-roll. Seventeen. All right, seventeen. 17. Okay, so Ooh, yeah, um, question. Yes. While we're here, should we also roll for roll for the next game we're gonna play? Nah, we'll do that offline. That's no big deal. That's no big deal. All right, all right. We'll figure that out. Um, because I don't have that list in front of me anyway. I'd have to I'd have to pull all that stuff up. So anyway, so I'm okay. gonna go get um. The Amazon list up, get the horror movies on Amazon, list those, find the 17th one on there, and that's what we're watching next time. So y'all hang tight. I will be right back. Let's do it. Okay. Um, The movie is called The Descent. I don't remember. Okay. I don't see. I don't. I don't see what year it is. I have to look that up. But anyway, the movie's called The Descent, and here's what it says about it: a K, and it looks like it's nothing but women. But I don't. I don't. I don't know why that is. But anyway, it says a caving expedition goes horribly wrong, as the explorers become trapped and ultimately pursued by a strange breed of predators. So apparently we're going to be in caves and small, dark, tight spaces and stuff's going to be chasing us and trying to kill us. Okay. There you go. Sounds like our favorite kind of movie. Yeah. Yeah. I so. kind of hope it's um it's found footage style because that's my favorite style of yeah. of horror movie, you know. We should we should consider do, doing random horror movies the entire month of October. Fine, let's do it. We'll we'll consider that. We'll consider that. So, okay. All right, guys. So that's it. Uh, we're going to watch The Descent next week. Connor's going to come with another geek kind of question. Listen, we are still working on a new segment for the show. Uh, we're still kind of in the planning phases, and we're working with one of our friends on uh, a little jingle for it. So st- stay tuned for that. That'll be coming. I mean, good grief. It may come after the first of the year. Who knows w- when that's going to happen, but it's going to happen. 
Um, I got to get some new cameras to look at stuff and, and so I can show things. I, do I need to upgrade my hardware too. Yeah. So, so yeah, so that's coming down the pike. Um, so y'all hang tight for that. It should be fun. And we're going to have guests on for that segment uh, yep. to do that. So that's going to make it really cool. So anyway, uh, that's all we got. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Uh, thanks for listening. If you're listening on the podcast, if you're listening to the podcast, wherever you're listening to it, um, give us some feedback. Uh, either go to podchasers.com and you can do it there. It's kind of a repository for podcasts. If you're listening to one of the places where they have reviews like Spotify or Apple Podcasts, whatever. I'll do anything leave us a review. A or... review. Oh, don't, buddy. This is, not, <laughs> this is not OnlyFans, okay? This is not OnlyFans. Stop it. Oh, so, oh well, how do you know about OnlyFans, huh? Because it's everywhere on TikTok and all that kind of crap. So uh, that's all I know. I mean, I know what it is. Uh, that's all I know. That's the extent of it. <laughs> so, you know, leave us a, a few or just shoot us a message over on Instagram at Gene Pool Variety Hour or on Twitter at GP Variety Hour. Um, Gene I'm Gamer. on Twitter at Head Gamer. I'm on Instagram at Head Gamer. Also on TikTok at Head underscore Gamer, I think is what it is. Um, and check us out there. Um, I'm trying to get into the whole TikTok game and put stuff out there. Um, it's just hard for me to kind of get in the groove doing that because I'm kind of new at that old thing. I'm, I'm an also old man. Going to start getting back in. I'm um, into posting videos on on my TikTok as well. Good for you because you had you had some fun ones. Oh, and I do want to as as a final thing, I do want to throw out there again. Go to likeandbook.com. Um, I think it's likeandbook.com. Uh, like and book. and it's it's uh, our buddy Dennis oh, Robinson's Kickstarter. Um, it, you know what? Oh, I found it, found it this week. It has been fully funded, but you can get in on the Kickstarter and add to it and get your own copy as soon as it comes out next year. It's the second book in his, his uh, Lycan Solomon's Odyssey series. Check it out. Great guy. Great book. I uh, would love for, for you guys to support him for that. So that's all we got for tonight. We will probably be back here on Saturday morning doing some game streaming together and hanging out and having coffee. Um, so come check us out there at 8 o'clock. 8 30 or so saturday morning and then we'll be back next monday night same time seven o'clock talking about more nerd stuff more movies and chasing a lot more chickens all right and always remember i wish you well on your travels my friends and always remember stay nerdy wanted to get one one, one, one well you are mixing it up spice. tonight hey it worked didn't it it did. You're still here? It's over. Go home. <laughs>